Hello everybody, hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, today I want to go over my CCMP lab. It's going to be very simple, very straightforward, so let's get to it. Alright, so right here I have my switches. Uh, I have the, right now I'm pretty much set up almost for a CCIE lab, um, except right now I don't have the actual cabling set up at all. But I have my rack here, the actual rack that holds everything together cost me about 28 bucks plus a 16 for this uh, uh, little thing up top so I can have it nice and neat um, alright so I have two uh, catalyst 3550 these are layer 3 switches with the EMI installed on them as well they're 24 port switches and these are uh, I believe each of these cost me about hundred and fifty dollars uh, below that I have my Cisco Catalyst 2950 switches. These are the ones I use for my CCNA, so I just kept those. So that's not that's basic there. Um, and this bottom one here is my uh, Cisco router, and it's actually a I use it as an access server. So on the back of that access server, I have a AUI to Ethernet converter, and that connects to a switch that attaches to my GNS3 server and to my um, to my secondary uh, network card on my computer so that access server is connected uh, by an octal cable to these these four uh, switches so I'm able to reverse telnet into them when I access that access server alright so like I said I have an ethernet cable running from that access server uh, from my onboard network card on that server that I use for my routers, the GNS3 server, and on the computer I actually use at home for, you know, for the internet and for home networking. But I have a secondary USB network card that also connects to a switch that's behind my desk. So those three are connected to that switch, which allows me to, you know, have connection to both my, or uh, have connection to all three of the devices I need. So over here is where I run my routers. It's a GNS3 server. I purchased this Dell PowerEdge 480. Uh, it cost me about $250. It's a 3.5 gigahertz Xeon processor with four gigabytes of RAM. It came with uh, 250 gigabytes of, um, of hard drive space. Nothing super crazy, but it had the PCI X, two PCI X and one PCI port so I can have uh, three quad NICs on the back of it so essentially what I'm going to be doing is running those uh, network cards having some Ethernet cables running to the switches once I get into my uh, the CCNP route exam so that's essentially it um, I'm going to be setting up more of the cabling when I go through the uh, CCNP uh, T-shoot exam and then hopefully later on I can use the same lab for my CCIE route exam, or CCIE routing and switching exam. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.